so i'll be sharing some tips in order to help you guys learn programming much faster as well so without wasting any time the first tip that i have for you guys here is don't try to learn everything at once because if you try to learn every single technology at once it will become overwhelming to your mind so you won't really grasp anything even the small things that are not difficult they will end up being lost or they'll get out of your brain so just try to learn small things at a time so learn bit by bit don't try to grasp everything at the same time and this is what happened to me as i was learning programming especially when i was learning javascript so i'll watch a whole tutorial up to the end so i've wasted the whole two hours watching the whole tutorial i'm not practicing then after the whole two hours i realized that javascript is really hard then i tried to watch another video with the hope that that person will make uh javascript seem a bit easy so that i can jump in right into it but that is not the the right thing to do because that got me in the loop of watching a lot of videos which they call the tutorial hell so it got me in that so i was watching a lot of videos then watch another video or then watch another video it the hopes that the next video that i'm going to watch will be much easier they'll make the the technology that i'm trying to learn much easier so try to focus on one thing so if you are learning javascript focus on the smallest thing that they're teaching there then practice it if you understand it and you see the results and there is working this the, the same way that it's working on the tutorial and you test tested in your own scenarios and it's working then you understand that then you can move on to the next thing uh then the whole things will get together and you actually build something great uh once once you know the basics basically so yeah don't try to learn everything at once so let's go to the next tip and this tip is the one that i actually want you guys to pay attention to so before you actually try to learn it try to learn new technology have a project in mind have an idea of a project in mind so i've realized this at a later stage when i was trying to learn react so i had an idea of trying i wanted to build a music app so that really helped me to learn with a purpose in mind so as i was learning react i, I didn't really learn a bunch of other things that i'm not gonna use to actually build this this app so i knew i already knew html css and javascript so as i was learning react uh, i was learning react with an end result in mind i wanted to build a music app right so i learned the necessary things that all the basics that i needed for you to actually use react and to actually make your react app much much functional so if you haven't just try to think of any idea or try to solve a problem that already exists uh so that it can be realistic so that it can be passionate about it so that you won't stop when you face a problem right because what's the use of trying to solve a problem that you're not passionate about you'll end up not really going right deep into it so think of any idea of a project that you can build uh that will help you to actually learn the technology that you're trying to learn much faster and you actually make you learn a lot of things at a at a short time basically so yeah uh as i was I was, I was trying to build that platform that the web the web application for music i learned react i learned sas i learned react router i learned redux so that really helped me to learn those things at a short time because i had a purpose in mind as i was learning these things so try to think of any idea any idea of a project that you can build that you're passionate about please make sure that you're passionate about this so that you almost get stuck and quit so yeah that's the tip that i have for you guys and this is what really helped me boost my efforts to actually learn something much faster so let's move to the next tip so this tip goes hand in hand with what i what i just said previously so like i said try to have an idea of a project that you have that you want to build in mind which will help you learn with the purpose right so but something that really helped me to actually learn this technology is much faster like don't try to learn something then try to implement it on the platform or whatever you are building or the project that you're building don't learn that then implement it on the project that you're building because you'll get stuck a lot of times and you feel discouraged so what i recommend you guys to do which is what i did 
is let's say you're learning a react i'm going to share my experience so i'm just going to share everything that i did so i was learning react right then as i was learning something new like react router i didn't really implement that on top of the, the application that i'm building i build a separate functionality which is separate from the app or let me just say a separate website so i was build i build a an, a meme generator uh website basically it's a small project i wasn't really going to push that to the to the internet for everyone to see it's just so that i can test my my skills of what i've learned right or my understanding so basically i would learn react router then create a separate pages on that on that separate website that i'm building then try and test if everything's working then if i've learned if i don't understand something i just basically do some research solving that problem that is related to that separate uh website that i'm building then once i get the solutions and everything when i implement that on the actual project i won't face those same problems that i face there and it won't be uh, a much issue because it won't affect other things that are on the main project that i'm building so just try to make sure that you build something separate on when we are learning something new so that's the tip that i have for you guys let's move to the next tip this tip is very important like during uh the whole development of uh, the project that you just came up with you're going to face a lot of problems you're going to face a lot of errors warnings and everything so don't the tip here is don't go back to the tutorial that you watched uh previously of whatever technology that that brought up the problem so let's say you were doing redux then you came up with an error don't go to the tutorial and try to find a solution there or try to find a solution on another tutorial that teaches or uh, yeah they, they're giving a lesson or a course on redux go to google copy that whatever error it is copy it, that error paste it into google there are a lot of people that face the same error so you find the solution much faster don't try to find a solution through watching the videos because it's unlikely that you find the solution in a short amount of time you will watch a lot of videos on youtube but if you go to go if you use google you'll be able to find the, the solution much faster because there are a lot of people that face the same problem and they were able to help another person face that same problem um which will in turn help you so just copy whatever error it is paste it into google google will know whatever problem you are facing and will actually show you the relevant results so don't try to watch the tutorials that you've watched uh in learning that skill or that technology try and use google to actually solve the problems that you're facing all right let's go to the next tip all right this tip goes hand in hand with the tip that i just told previously so when you find a solution like the most popular platform where people actually where developers help each other solve problems is called stack overflow so when you find the solution at that platform whatever platform you found the solution at, don't try and copy everything then paste in your code then run it you'll run into a lot of problems and you won't be able to solve the pro those problems because you don't have the person who wrote that code next to you and you don't really have access to that person to be there to help you solve those errors that you will encounter uh, when you run the code right or when you run your program using the code that you just copied so what i recommend you guys to do is to actually read the whole scenario like usually when someone gives the solution to whatever problem another person had they usually explain whatever the code like they explain whatever the code that they're going to give as a solution would do so just make sure you read everything if there's some text before the actual code read make sure you understand whatever the code does and if you don't understand when you get to the code itself and you don't understand some certain lines of code you've never seen them before just copy that line of code paste it into google but before the, the actual code itself just write what does then paste it do then type do at the end it's just something that i do so it will give you uh some other websites that touch on that specific function or the specific method or the specific uh variable whatever it is 
that line of code is so it will give you more information on that and you'll know what that does before you actually get it into your code so make sure you understand whatever the that code does before you actually get it into your project and it ruins everything so make sure you understand everything also don't just copy everything because if you copy everything some lines of code are not necessary so just make sure you read it and understand everything then you can write it based on the scenario that you are you are you, you are trying to solve right so yeah that's the tip that i have for you guys don't just copy everything paste it in your code and run you will end up being a situation where you have a lot of errors which affect other features on your platform or on your project so make sure you read everything all right we've touched all the tips that i have for you guys on this video and if you have a situation that you're facing and you're trying to find some tips to actually uh, make your life easier when you're learning programming just ask any question that you might have in the comment section and i'll be happy to answer your questions so if you found this video very helpful consider liking this video and if you haven't done this yet please subscribe to my youtube channel so you get my content straight directly to you hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever i release new content all right thank you guys so much for watching have an awesome day bye